Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today our video is about Muhammad Ali. I made a video before, but uh, you, uh, YouTube, they block it. They said uh, copyright, whatever, propaganda. Uh, uh, as you see, Muhammad Ali, he asked questions, which is very, uh, uh, I, I take them seriously. And today we will answer them. And we will see what is the pain of Muhammad Ali. Obviously, Muhammad Ali, he lived uh, in the time where racism was very uh, big deal. I mean, it's still a big deal, but I'm saying like it was uh, uh, everywhere, and he suffered from it. So I believe strongly that this person is a victim of racism. This is why he became himself a racist too. Because remember, at the end of the day, racism is to a two-way, uh, uh, let us say, uh, it's a, an action and reaction. So uh, most of people, they can fail into this trap of racism. And he's asking questions, and those questions are really telling me a lot about himself. Like why somebody became so famous and, uh, let us say, beloved by millions and millions of people who they are white and black, he makes such a statement unless he is suffering from something. So what we will do today, we will answer him. He is ask, asking questions, why, how come Jesus is white? How come the angels are white? How come uh, even the cake is white? Uh, like uh, the the like the, the the good cake is the white one, um, you know. And uh, uh, as you see in the screen, he have a questions, and those questions have to be answered. And we will show Mr. Muhammad Ali. I feel sorry for him. He died, and he do not know that this is this is Islam, not Christianity. As an example, when you say why Jesus is white, you are talking about what? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, Jesus is born in the Middle East, so obviously he was going to be born in the same look as the people around him. If he's born in Africa, like why you are black and why I'm white? It's not something you choose, not something I choose. I am born from, from a family uh, who they have a, a, a light skin. I, I, I have light skin. If I am born from a black uh, lady and my father is white, I will be in between. Uh, if I am, uh, my father is white and Mary and Asian, I will be between. So this is not really a problem to be uh, uh, something to suffer from unless you have it or you make it a problem for you. Like seriously, what I'm getting from my white color anyway? Like is that uh, if you apply for jobs actually, if you are, uh, if you are uh, 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 black, they favor you because they want to prove that they are not racist. What I'm getting from my white color, like, I mean, it's, it's really stupid, naive to say so. Uh, those days is over. However, uh, racism is exist, is exist everywhere. If you, go, if you go live in Africa, you will see that there is African, they are racist against the white. In certain time, uh, the, uh, the African, they enslave a lot of white. As an example, the, the, the Hebrew, the Israeli, who they are white, they've been enslaved by the African, which is an Egyptian. And everybody owns slaves. Actually, number one people who own slaves in the world, it was the African, not the white. And the one who used to capture slaves and sell them to the white man, it was the African, not the white. It was the African, specifically the Muslims in North Africa. They are the one, if we can call them African, but we are, they are mixed between the Arab and the barbarian and etc. However, they are African. So those are the ones who were capturing slaves, selling them to the white man. The white man was a market, the, the, the importer was a black man. So your grand, grand, grandfather, Mr. Muhammad Ali, was captured by the Arab and sold to the white as a slave. But yet you remember the white, you don't remember the one who captured you, which is actually more ugly than the one who bought you. If that person who did not capture you, capture your father, your grandfather, and he sold you as a slave, you will be free. And the white man would never have his hand on you. However, I say that slavery is a big business exist until now. As an example, country like Mauritania. What do you know about Mauritania? It is a country considered as an Arab country. Do you know what is the population right now in the year 2016 of slavery there? I can show you, my friend.
Now, this is an article made by the CNN, which is not an, a, a trustworthy uh, uh, station. Uh, and I believe the numbers there are not accurate. I believe the number is a lot bigger than what this station is stating. Uh, what I know, it is more than 60% of the population in Mauritania are slaves. 60%. Who is the one is enslaving them? Those are African enslaved by the Arab. So those who they are descendant from the Arab, they think they are the top, and the black are the bad one. Actually, uh, there is a movie. It's called uh, uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, it's an old one, not not a new one. The, the old one, the old version of it. Uh, go and watch it. It's giving you a very very uh, like a, a, a honest uh, uh, image of how they used to capture people and sell them into slavery. And those are in Arabic countries, Muslim countries. And actually, when the CNN says the slavery lost a stronghold is Mauritania, this is a big fat lie. Because until now, Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Bahrain, Qatar, etc., those countries, and Oman, Kuwait, they did not sign the slavery, the anti-slavery way, which uh, 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 slavery law, which is uh, uh, you know like encouraged by a, a United Nations. Why? Because this is against Islam. So why you convert to Islam if you are against racism and against slavery and against abusing to the black people? You know, you, you, you choose the wrong way. You choose the wrong direction. You, cho you choose the abuser to save you. Just because a bunch of racists, they told you Muhammad is a black man. When the fact, this is absolutely not true. It's a big fat lie. And we can show, actually, if you read my book, The Deception of Allah, I encourage everybody to read it. I have tons of proofs of... Uh, uh, racism in Islam today I'm going to share with you some of it all right in this video uh, because we cannot make a video for 10 hours however you can read my books and feel free uh, to educate yourself I'm not going to read the whole article you can go and read it but there is a bazaar there is a market there is auction in Mauritania every day for slaves children's old you know, uh, versions, the versions have different price. Uh, everyone have his own tag. If, uh, if the black person is, a, is, a, is a, you know, she, if she is a beautiful, her price is high. If she is not, her price is so-so. If she is uh, uh, like a, a old, young, it depends. And this is today. And what, what Obama do about it? We have, we have an embassy for Mauritania in USA. Did he cut his relationship with Mauritania? No. Did he threaten them? If you don't stop do, if you don't like you stop doing this, I'm not going to have an ambassador with you. Actually, we support them with assistance and money. What about Saudi Arabia? Nobody dare to speak about the Saudi and the way they treat the slaver, you know, slavery or slaves. Everybody is hypocrite, and this is the land of hypocrisy. I mean, the world actually. The world is, is the land of hypocrisy. Because, because the Saudi are rich, nobody want to say what the Saudi are doing with the slaves. They were so brave to talk about South Africa, but nobody speak about the slavery every day happening in Saudi Arabia. And actually today, they have more kind of slaveries. Like in Qatar right now, they bring very cheap employment from Bangladesh, from Indonesia. And if you see what they do to them, you will not believe it. In Saudi Arabia, in one year, 1,200 1, women were killed. They are Indonesian. Not only for black. Why? Because they are poor people. Who is going to go and check after them? If one of them was an American, you will see how things will go crazy. But 1,200 Indonesian men, women get killed in Saudi Arabia. All of them, they are made, housemaid. So what they do, the Saudi, they bring them, they do, they make them sex slaves, and they get a bread net, and they, they, they don't want to have a problem. So what they do, they kill the, the, the slave, the, the maid, supposedly she's a maid. The name of the job is a maid, but the fact she's a slave. So they kill her, they dump her in the desert, and they report right away to the police that our maid, she stole our money and she ran away. And after a few months, they will find her in the desert, you know, killed. He will say, see, I told you she ran away, I don't know. That's it. And then they send her dead body to, uh, to, uh, to, to her country. Say she was killed, she ran away. She is, she is the bad person. She is the one who ran with the money. 
Now let me show you some of the evidence of what we are talking about. And we are talking about the slavery. First of all, uh, Muhammad, he taught his followers that the best of mankind are the Arab. But before we go there, look what your prophet, the one you choose to be your prophet, what he said about the black. I'm not going to read it. <clears throat> he hired a slave man because he's good in fighting to be a leader of a group, but he's a slave. So those Arab, they complain how a black man is going to be our leader. Look what the answer of Muhammad is. Look at, look at his description, how disgusting it is. If Trump or George Bush, he said that statement, what you, are, what, what you black people will say. But because Muhammad, he said that, it's okay. And they will say to you, the prophet, he said, there's no advantage between Arab and non-Arab. All of them in front of Allah are equal. Where is that? I want to see it. Why you are putting them down for their look? And why you are describing their look in such a way? What do you mean by... I'm not going to say it. This is Islam. Muhammad, he used to use slavery as a way to spread his belief. In the beginning, he told them, if you join me, I will free you. But then when he have enough number of fighters, he said, no way, you know what? I'm going to own you. I will never accept any of you to be, even if you join Islam, you will stay as a slave. As you see the stories in the front of your eyes. You can read, just type, just type the word black slave in the website and you will see. Muhammad, he noticed that, you know what, those people, they are coming, so they are running away from their master. So they come to me, they say, we want to be a Muslim, so get the protection of Muhammad. But then he said to them, you know what, from now on, nobody of you come to me and say I'm a Muslim, unless he got the acceptance of his master. He was not going to, uh, to accept you to be a Muslim. And Muhammad, he bought and he sold the slaves. Uh, he, this is one of his business. This is one of his business. Right? So wh when you join this religion, do you know like what you join? Do you have an idea? Muhammad have a lot of black slaves serving him. Servant, 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 slaves. They are owned by him. In every door he have a black slave. He have dancer slave. He have sexual slaves. He have a fighter slave. He have all kinds of slaves. And all of them they are black slaves. By the way, the word the Abid, the word the Abid means black slave. This is why you see a Muslim, he called himself Abdullah. What Abdullah mean? He humiliate himself, he make himself equal to a black slave in front of Allah. This is what Abdullah mean. Is to put yourself down as if you are equal to a black person. So you call yourself Abd Allah. However, if you call someone Abd, not Abdullah, that's a big insult. You are calling him a black slave. And actually, the word in Arabic here, it doesn't say even black slave, by the way. It says Abd. <laughs> you know? So, this is this is Islam. Now, what about the Arab? Is the Arab are the one who they are being favored upon all? This is a, this is a website made by, by uh, African. You can go and read it. Arab Slave Trade. Even this is the name of the website. Arab Slave, uh, slave Trade dot com. They will show you tons of history of what the Arab did to the African. The Arab, not, not, uh, not the American, not American, not the white, not the British, not the English. The one who was capturing you, slaving you, setting you out, was the Arab. 
But if you decide to be deaf and blind and you don't want to see, this is your business. In the slave, when you come from East Africa, only Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, Zambia, first slave by stay Bagamoyo. Can you follow Bagamoyo near the Islam in Tanzania? Bagamoyo is the last station or mileage. All of them slave from Kenya, Uganda, Zambia. First, they stay Bagamoyo three weeks or four weeks. Then you came here to Zanzibar, you stay chamber three days or four days. Then you're going marked for auction. After auction, you're going to Saudi Arabia, Oman, Arabic, India, Asia, everywhere in the country. All right. So I advise you to read. Now, what about the Arab? You know, I saw a video by, by someone. He is an African-American. He said a message for the Arab. Islam is not a racist religion. Islam what? Arabs again. I'm going to say it one more time. You don't own Islam. Every aspect of Islam has its root in Africa. Taweed <laughs> has its root in Africa. Oneness, sajida, prostration, <laughs> top bearing. You can see that on the walls of Kemet. You understand? Right. This is an African origin religion. Okay. Prophet Muhammad just perfected it for y'all. You understand? And the reason you got a prophet was because you were savages. Uh -huh. That's why. Okay, I agree with that. And you still are participating in savage ways right now because what you are exhibiting over there in the East is not Islam at all. That's murder. That's not Islam. This is murder. Enough of this garbage. So Islam is not exist in, in, in Arabia. It exists in Africa. The root of Islam is in Africa. All right? Now, let us get over this garbage because here we have a racism issue. This guy is angry from the Arab. However, let us see what Muhammad said about that. Uh, this is the statement of Muhammad and this is Sahih Muslim alright and this is a very accurate hadith I heard Allah messenger saying verily Allah granted Eminus of Kinana 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 is one of the biggest names of the Arab like those people they are proud to be Arab however I believe strongly there is nothing that's called Arab Arab is a mix of many many ethnic groups however those people they believe that they are from Kinana. So Muhammad he believe he's from Kinana. This is his grand 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 grandfather tribe. From amongst the descendant of Ishmael. So they believe that Kinana is coming from Ishmael, which is stupid and, and a lie. And he granted, you can read my book and you see why. And he granted like the superiority of Quraysh among the Kinana. So Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh is superior between all the Arab from Kinana. So Kinana is the mother tribe and from this tribe there is many tribes and one of them is Quraysh but Quraysh the tribe of Muhammad is a superior and then from the superior tribe of Quraysh over the Arab he granted the superior situation or position for Banu Hashim the family of Muhammad. So now the tribe is getting the clan getting smaller to the family and amongst the Quraysh he granted Banu, Banu Hashim and, and from Banu Hashim there's different hadith says and from Banu Hashim which means his family I was the, 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 the best so the best according to Islam is the tribe of Kinana uh, from all the world this is not about a, a person because actually the hadith says that the best of the children of Adam was Ishmael and the, ch the children of uh, etc like you know and they continue until he arrived to Muhammad and all of those are Arab because according to the Muslim they believe that Ishmael he is the first Arab which is very stupid because in the same books the Arab they have they say that the Muslims they have they say Ishmael he learned Arabic at the age of 11 so how he can be the, the father of the Arab he learned Arabic it means he learned Arabic from the Arab he learned Arabic from a tribe it's called Jahm Go and read my book, The Deception of Allah. However, so Islam is a religion of racism and uh, and here we go. This is another hadith. <coughs> Allah Messenger said, I have been sent an apostle in the best of all generations of Adam. Offspring. So he, Muhammad, he think that the Arab are the best of the offspring of Adam. And he is the best of the Arab. Actually, he said it clearly that Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh, are the leaders of the Arab. 
the leader of the Muslims until the judgment day in the bad and the good in chapter 3 verse number 106 if you click at the translations the Muslim they try to translate the verse far away from the true meaning however this is the verse in the front of you every person who is a Muslim in the judgment day Allah will make his face white and every non-Muslim in the judgment day Allah will make his face black as simple as that and I think you can see it clear in the front of your eyes right I think it's very clear all those in that day the day of judgment all the non-believers they will turn white and all the non the, the sorry the believers will turn white and non-believers Allah will make their faces black what will happen you can go and read the interpretation of the of the books and you will see that it says according to the, the according to Muhammad that in the day of judgment after like when when before people they enter heaven Allah will turn everybody black and white and he will make the Muslims more white even before he entered the heaven so there's two steps of whiteness the first step when there's a beast who come if you go to chapter 27 verse number 82 in the Quran the chapter of the end the first step there is an ant sorry a jassasa which is a beast and this beast is a is a is a is a is a funny creature uh, who is the image of this beast is talking uh, been, been taken from the book of revelation and this beast is going to come with the stick of Moses and this uh, and and the ring of Solomon and he will hit the kuffar in their face and he will make them black and he will it will hit the the infidels with the ring and he will make them uh, 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 with the ring he will make them black and with the with the staff of Moses he will make them white because remember the ring of Solomon is the power of magic and evil and the staff of Moses is the power of good so with the staff of Moses he will make you white with the ring of Solomon will make you black and everybody will turn black and white and then people they will recognize each other by the color not by religion no more which mean when you see a black person that's mean he is a bad man now let me show you that I'm not making things up for those who don't want to learn well I cannot make you educated if you don't want to learn here we go this is Ibn Kathir let me put it in the center hold on in the judgment day there is a beast and this beast will come with the stick of Moses and is going to hit people in their faces so if we search for white in the face or the the the, the, uh, the, the it's going to make them white uh, let us see here here we go you see it so it's going there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which is going to spread until his face became shining white do you see it so this this uh, creature which have a if you go to the book of revelation and see the creature the beast but the beast in islam is a good guy is a good is a beast of allah in the book of revelation the beast is a beast is evil in the in the in the book of muhammad the beast is the opposite he's a good creature who have a funny look which is taken from the book of revelation if you go and read and you will see the neck of an ostrich, the the the, the chest of a chest of uh, of a lion. The color is the color of a tiger. The the, the hunches is the hunches of a, a cat, etc. The tail is the tail of a ram. And however, this beast is going to hit you with the stuff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And there will be no believer left without its making a white spot in his face, which will spread and his face will turn white, which means all his body will turn white as a result and he will do the same for the disbelievers what he will make them black so he will make a black spot in their face which is going to spread until all their face turn black so muhammad ali you are asking why are you asking why there is no white angels or you are asking are we going to enter heaven when we are white or black obviously allah will not allow the black people in the heaven that's because Muhammad and his God is racist in my book you are more welcome than anyone 
in the heaven regardless of you are white or black or yellow or green or blue color doesn't count in Christianity Mr. Muhammad Ali it counts for the racist people like Muhammad and you now we can show you many examples like this tons of examples not one not two uh, how white was the Prophet Muhammad people even they describe imagine how white his underarm how white his legs how white his 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 uh, his uh, his belly how white his uh, his neck how white his chest actually there's a video I'm afraid if I play it Muslim they might get horny because the description of the uh, of the Prophet in this video is extremely extremely you know if there is people who they are gays they might get so excited and I will show you some of it and later maybe you can watch it by yourself and see how how the Muslims they speak about their Prophet how beautiful he is and for sure he is very white so if we go and read there's tons of proofs and reference about Muhammad that he is a very white man and this white man he always praised for being white now here you will see on the day Muhammad is speaking in the day of judgment that all the bad ones will turn black and though all the good ones will be white and the reference in the front of you we don't make things up we, you know, we are not the same as Muslims who come with things that not exist uh, if we go here let us go here this is the Sahih Bukhari uh, you know I have tons of reference here in the front of me by the way it's about Muhammad being being a white man however there's a hadith here in front of me I could not find it translated in any book because Muslim they will never translate that uh, the hadith says whoever said the Prophet is a black kill him and it says that the one who said the Prophet is black he will not be forgiven so even if you say that and then you ask, say, ask for forgiveness remember if you leave Islam they give you three days to come back to Islam before they kill you if you say the Prophet is a black there is no three days even if you say I'm sorry forgive me no 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 that's it you say the Prophet he is a black kill him all right let me show you the hadith I will go to Google translation so people will not say I am making things up all right and what is the crime It's just for saying Muhammad is a black that's it you did not say Muhammad is a bad person you did not say Muhammad is an evil man you, you don't say anything you just said Muhammad is a black man that's it and because of that you will be killed there we go I will post the Arabic text in front of your eyes as it is and you be the witness here we go who said the Prophet peace upon him was a black kill him the translation is not too much accurate whoever said the Prophet is a black man kill him am I creating those things what do you think mr. Muhammad Ali if somebody says Muhammad was a black man he should be killed Hmm? and by the way this is this hadith can be found in many books al-masloul rasul blah 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 there's tons of books and just to show you the reference in this website with this a very official Islamic website kitab this is the name of the book I, it's not my fault if you don't understand Arabic you claim to be a Muslim you pray to Allah in Arabic but you do not know Arabic and this is the page of the book in the front of you and this is the value value number two so whoever say the prophet is a black kill him let us continue we have a lot of things here why the black dog should be killed what the difference between a black dog and yellow dog what the difference between white dog and black dog well the prophet of Islam he give us a definition the black dog is the devil you see it he's a shaitan they ask him prophet what the difference between a black dog and yellow dog 
why why it's a what's wrong with the what the black dog do you see it what's wrong with the black dog and not red one so even your god even when it's come to dogs he is racist the black dog is a devil kill him not only like not only like don't take him home don't say hello to him don't feed him no 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 kill him for what for being a black dog let's continue I'm not going to read Arabic because I want to save time. There's tons of hadith actually in Arabic, but I know it's a waste of time to speak in Arabic. Uh, let me see if I, I can make this hadith come up. All right. This is the description of Moses and Jesus according to Muhammad, not according to the Bible. According to who? According to Muhammad, Jesus is a blonde man and he is a redhead. Do you see it? He is so blonde to the point as if he just came out of the bathroom. Like when you came from a from a sauna, your face will turn red if you are a white man because the blood is in your skin. So as if he is a red man just come from the bathroom, this is how white he is. So Mr. Muhammad Ali, why Jesus is white? Show me where in the Bible it says Jesus he have a face like red face and he have a blonde hair. Can you show me? This is why I say people like Muhammad Ali are stupid and those who believe in Muhammad Ali are stupid. And when Muhammad Ali once he said uh, I did not go to Vietnam war because why I want to shoot at people who never shoot at me? Why I want to fight people who never fought me? Why I want to fight people who never call me black? Well, your prophet, he he called people black. He called them names. Your prophet, he fought people who never fought him. Your prophet, he killed people. They never harm him. Isn't it your prophet? He said, I been ordered to fight and commanded to fight all mankind until they convert to Islam. And they say there's no God but my God and there's no prophet but me. And they pay me money and they follow my command and then and only then I will stop killing them he did not say I will fight all people who fight me he said all people until they accept me as a prophet so how come you will not fight people who never fought you but your prophet he always fight people who never fought him you are ignorant either ignorant or stupid choose one however I think you are busy now to answer you are in the heaven waiting for the 7000 version I hope you will not open the box and you find them used. Now, even Muhammad, he described the Muslims as the white hair in the skin of a black cow. This is how he described them. The Muslim is the same as a white hair, which means all the hair in the cow with the black is bad the only good hair is the white hair let us continue oh wait i have a video here well i hope if you are a, a muslim you will not start having a, i mean you will not get horny after watching this video this is the name of the video i advise everybody to search for it and, and watch it you will not believe it i wish i can play it all you will not believe what you will hear. Those people, they, they describe Muhammad as a porn, porn star. Porn what? Porn star. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night. Uh, in, oh. I came out one night that was the full moon night. Uh-huh. He cannot describe, he cannot talk. And, and I looked <sighs> at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. Right. It is smooth. Yeah. It is radiant. It is clear. It is gentle compared to the scorching sun at which they are used to. Unbelievable. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. Wow. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful handsome so i said let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome no way let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful no way so i went and i saw him standing afar so i looked at his face 
look at his face and I look at the moon and I look at his face and I look at the moon and he said wallahi he was more handsome than the moon wow wow brother that that is just the look of your rasul this is just a little look if you watch the movie you will go crazy when you watch this video he is saying to you that Muhammad is more white than the moon in the dark night and you see how much it's important for Muslims the beauty of the man and the whiteness of the man why the Muslims are describing how beautiful is Muhammad is how come we don't see one one statement in the Bible about the look of Jesus seriously how come never mention anything about him in this video this is nothing by the way there's books I'm, 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 I'm not exaggerating there's books describing you know there's there's a book describing the beard of the prophet I'm not making things up let me let me get it for you hold on where we can find that no not here where is that here we go do you see the name of the title the noble beard and the hair of the holy prophet by dr g f haddad <laughs> the, the 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 noble beard of the prophet even the prophet he have a noble beard and i have a news for you mr muhammad ali do you know that the prophet he forbid muslims from coloring their hair black and their beard and the prophet he used to color his hair red is that right let us see if it's true there we go he forbid the muslims from coloring their hair beard the, the the black you cannot it's forbidden haram the prophet he used to color his hair red red he want to be red he want to be blondy and the prophet he forbid the muslims from making their beard black do you have an explanation and this is sahih don't tell me it's weak huh? by the way all those sahih and the weak is a, is a lie all those books are sahih books which mean anything is inside is correct regardless if they say here sahih or not even if they say that if it is sahih this is just a new edition the muslim they play game with so avoid the black it's forbidden there's tons of fatwa saying you should not color your hair black if you have a gray hair you don't make a black hair make it a blonde make it a green make it yellow but you don't make it black you don't make it black it's forbidden why why Muhammad wanna be a redhead you see all those hadith in the front of us all of them saying the prophet he used to color his head red do you see it the prophet he color his hair with the henna this is was the only like one of a few ways to color your hair anyway which is used by women not by men and the prophet he used to put eye mascara in his eye you know that right eyeliner a prophet of God he want to be a pretty girl he want to be blonde he want to be a red head and he want to have an eyeliner maybe I can find it for you anyway this is enough let us go let us continue where we stopped we stop with the dog we mentioned the dog description of the prophet how white he is this is in Arabic so we will not go there forget about it we mention okay the description of the prophet here we mentioned that and we mentioned that Jesus is a blonde man in Islam and we mentioned the cow we go back to this video I don't know what to do with this video this video is amazing about how beautiful the prophet is if you start from the beginning I assure you if you are a gay you will get excited 
Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close and I swear, out of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. You believe it? This is how white his face is. Did, did you hear this? She cannot find the needle. The prophet, he turned his face and then the brightness of his face the whiteness of his face make her see the needle like come on it's amazing brother well this is not the case for you muhammad ali sorry and you are complaining why jesus is white well this is new religion you see those arts just to show those stupid people who would speak about jesus as white and blonde i've been in asia in asia they draw jesus as an asian man in china he's a chinese man in Nigeria, he's a Nigerian man. In the Coptic church, he have a dark skin color. Which means none of those is describing a man for his look as much describing to want him to be, they, they feel that he's one of them. And by the way, I am against all those pictures. For very simple reason, none of them is true. And the look of Jesus is not important. But this is important in your religion not in my belief let us continue i don't know really what to say it's really amazing you know uh, in this video here in this uh, hadith story sorry it says, وَكَانَ رَجُلًا حَسَنُ الشَّعْرِ, حسن الشعر أَبْيَضْ وسيم. I look for the translation here. I could not find it in, in, our, in English. Let me check again. Maybe I, I'm mistaken. I look here for the... I don't see it. The word white does not exist. They, they don't translate this thing. The Hadith says the Prophet, he was white. And this is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number... Uh, one to one eight I could not find it if I if I copy here the the Arabic in the front of your eyes and translate you will see it says the prophet he was a very handsome man and he is a white man Qala ibn Abbas wa kana rajulun rajulun hasanu shar abyad wasim let me copy it for you here we go I will copy the, the, the Arabic text as it is in front of you now the question if in Islam is not important the color why they keep mentioning he's white like who cares seriously if Muhammad was white or blue or green this is this information is important for who are we in a dating website saying this uh, describe yourself like is that a dating website seriously Let us translate. I will pause the text as it is in the front of your eyes as we copy it. Here we go. And this is the translation automatically in the front of your eyes. Hassan, he was a handsome. And it doesn't say white hair, by the way. He was a white man. And he had a nice hair. And he was a handsome man. It is Muslims who are going crazy about the hair of Muhammad, the face of Muhammad, the look of Muhammad. Even Muhammad, he told him how he will how he will recognize us in the judgment day. He would say to he said to them, "You will come to me, and you are with white faces and white feet and white body and white you know you will be white. You see it. You will come to me." with white color those who they are bad ones are the one who will have a black color different hadith here we go the prophet he said you will come to me with white faces and white hands why because from the evolution the evolution will make you white now what does that mean it's mean when you are a sinner you turn black and by praying more and more and more because what you do what evolution for you are praying the more you pray 
the more you turn white. Do you see it? Do Abdul see it? Abdul, do you see it? I know you are blind, like your prophet. And you are illiterate. But it's in front of your hand. This is your books, not my books. You will be white. Your feet will be white. Your hand will be white. Your face will be white. And this is because of the prayer. Allah will take you, will take your sin away. All of this because you are praying. Which means, the more you sin, the more you get black. The more you are good, the more you get white. More. Let us see. Uh, let us see what this hadith. Yeah, actually there's a hadith. I'm trying to find it about the... The, the the one who will destroy the black the the, the Kaaba is a black man. There's the devil. But I, I could not find it in this uh, in this uh, website. The one will destroy the Kaaba. The devil is a black man. That's why Muhammad he said, if you see a black dog, kill him, for he is the devil. Let us continue. Uh, Let us see the white Muhammad. When the Prophet was doing evolution, I saw the whiteness of his shank. Whiteness of what? Of his shanks? Have you ever heard about people who describe their Prophet shank? Except in Islam? Seriously. Is that, is that normal? A Prophet of God is important that he is a good man. He is obeying God. He is coming to teach the truth. Who in the world care for the shank of the Prophet? May Allah shank you. The whiteness of the shank of the Prophet, is that really extremely important? Obviously it is. You Muslims spend the time, all this story to tell us what? And look at the description of the Prophet's too, not only him. By the way, people, they will say to you, do you know Bilal? Bilal, the slave of Muhammad, he is the first one who called for the prayer because he's a slave. Because he's been ordered to do so. The poor Bilal, Muhammad died and still he is a slave. This is why Bilal, he said to Abu Bakr after Muhammad's death, he said to him, you know what? If you bought me for the sake of Allah, let me find you the hadith. If you bought me for the sake for the sake of, of Allah, which means to serve Allah, will you free me for the sake of Allah? If you bought me for yourself, will keep me for yourself. Let me see. I, I will try to find the hadith so you can see it. If you Here we go. This is the poor black man Bilal. Muhammad he died, still he is dreaming about his freedom. He after the death of Muhammad, he came to Abu Bakr, which is the original owner, and he said to him, Well, you know what? If you bought me for the sake of Allah, I converted to Islam. I fought for the Prophet. I I, I almost killed many times to defend him and to be with him. So Okay, isn't it enough to be a slave? The question here, why Muhammad did not free his slaves? Why Muhammad died and the poor Bilal is a slave? The first one who called for the prayer, coming to Abu Bakr saying, please, for God's sake, if you bought me for yourself, will keep me for yourself. Stop being hypocrite. You claim that you bought me to serve the Prophet because I will serve Allah. Here we go, the Prophet, he died. And I served him all my life. And he did not free me. So if you bought me to serve you, well, you know what? Okay, say it. But don't lie and say, he, he don't dare for sure to say to Abu Bakr, don't lie. But he's saying it. And if you, if you read the text, it's very clear. Let us continue. The poor Bilal. Uh, here, uh, the whiteness of the of the of the legs of Muhammad, the whiteness of the thigh of Muhammad, the whiteness. Do you see it? You see it? Who is the one who's talking about the white prophet?
Is it the Christians? Is it the Jews? Who is the one is obsessed with the color of Muhammad? The whiteness of his shanks again? Look like his shanks was very famous. The shanks of the Prophet. I understand. Not everybody have a have a shank like the shank of the Prophet. You see? The white of the thigh of the Prophet? Are you serious? People, they are speaking about the white of his uh, upper, like how they can see it, what he's doing. He was in his bikini in the beach. He uncovered his, 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 his thigh and I saw the whiteness of it. <laughs> Man, brother, I could not tell you. Unbelievable how beautiful it is. A brother, I wish I have a camera. A brother, if I if we post a video of the of the shank of the prophet, of the underarm of the prophet, of the belly of the prophet, and how white it is, is trust me, all the gays in the world will subscribe to this channel. And Muhammad Ali is wondering why Jesus is white and why the angels are white. You will ask yourself, this is a new religion. Let us continue. Even the black stone. Somebody will say to you, Well, if the Muslims are racist. How come they kiss a black stone? Well, excuse me. That question is based on your ignorance. The Muslim, they don't believe the black stone was a black. Muhammad, he said, and the hate in front of you, that the black stone used to be white and the sin of mankind make it black. This is confirmed what I am saying, that Muhammad, he believes strongly that your sin make you black. Sin and black, they live together, which means I'm not saying that. Don't accuse me of saying that. This is what Muhammad is saying. You are white as long you are clean from sin. You get black as long you are sinner. This is why Muhammad, he said, when you come to me in the judgment day, he said to him, how we will know us? He said, your faces will be white. Your hand will be white. Your feet will be white from ablution, which means the washing of the ablution, the prayer will wash your sin which is dark and you will make you white, white, extreme white, not normal white. So you will not be just an Arab man who is coming from the desert, who the sun make him have a little uh, bit dark skin. You know, Arab are not dark. You know, we, we are not African. So whoever live in that territory, all the Mediterranean, you will see there's no really. The, the only black you see them there are both slaves during the slavery time. And actually until now the Muslims, they have a slavery. Until now Saudi Arabia did not sign the agreement against slavery. The only one who refused slavery is Saudi Arabia. Actually, in a country like Mauritania, go and search Mauritania, I think 60% of the population are slaves. I'm not exaggerating. 60% of the population, 40% their own 60% until now. This is Islam. Let us continue. I don't know what to say. The video became long. I will try to make it shorter. I think this is enough for here. You know, that's enough. Uh, so when somebody, when I come to us and tell us uh, why everybody is white, in Christianity that is a big fat lie if Jesus is from who is born from the Middle East it's normally that he is born as a middle like he look have the look of a middle, middle Eastern man if he's born in Germany he will look like a German if he's born in Africa he will look like an African so it's not meant to be a white or black or dark that is a big fat lie and you will see we do not talk about the whiteness of Jesus. You will never see any church speaking about the whiteness of Jesus. But you will see how crazy the Muslims about the beautiful white prophet. And I advise everybody to watch this video. I will, I will, I will put a link for it underneath. So you guys, you can click on it and see how stupid it is. This is exactly Islam. Christ is Lord. And don't forget to purchase my books. Because this is how you can educate yourself in the same time you support what we do or by helping us by donation. We appreciate it. Many donations dropped drop this month. Uh, we have many things to do, many things to, 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 like to, uh, 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 to reach. Uh, you see, the propaganda is big. Your president is a liar. 
The vice president is a liar. The Congress are a bunch of liars. Everybody in your government is a bunch of liars. Michelle Obama, she was astonished by a, a girl from Yemen. She have a statement of the prophet in her t-shirt. This is the news from yesterday. Everybody is a liar. And when somebody say the truth, like even someone like James White, he said, Christian Prince, his a prediction, his what? His a prediction. Well, I say to people like James White, the false teachers, if I have donation like you, I will make a lot better prediction. But the important is the information I provide, which I challenge you to have any kind of a quality of what I do. You defend Islam, you say ISIS is not Islam, you say all the lies about Islam to make it look like nice and good religion. At the same time, you complain about my prediction. So Christians, I want to ask you, is what you care for is the production of my videos or the quality of the information and the knowledge? Is that why you want to watch James White videos because he have a somebody answering the phone? He have somebody controlling the camera? He have an office, he have 1000 books behind him, but maybe he never read any of them. And because I'm a poor guy, so my production is not good. You see how corrupt this world is? So you have even those who claim to be Christians, they are against the truth. The false propaganda everywhere. And this is what the Muslim tried to fool the black African American. By the way, I love all those black African. And it's not true that when somebody says that black people are bad. I met black people, they are extremely, extremely good. And I met white people who they are extremely bad. And remember, I am not a black man. I like to say the truth. There is bad and good in everywhere. Color never been a reason to be bad or good. Christianity is against racism. And Christ for everybody. And his color is not important because he is not from this kingdom. He is not from this earth. What color you are talking about? Jesus is exist before a human being created with their look. Human was created in the image of God, not God created in the image of a man. Which means God, he loves you in your image. It doesn't matter what your image is. So try to get out of your uh, skin color. If you are white or black, this is not important. What is important is your quality, not your stupidity. With this I say, Christ is Lord. Thank you very much for watching and share the video everybody and God bless. Thanks.